Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you're coming back to see me, that's always cool. Um, I love it when people come back. <laughs> uh, okay, today I'm working on the homemade journal. And I'm working in this signature. Um, it's, uh, I've, I've just got two of them sorted out right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be three. But... Right now I've got two, and this one's the one I'm working on. So, here we go. I made a really fun um, element to go in this one. Let me set this aside. I'm going to put it on that. So this is my element that I'm going to show you how to do. I used, um, I used, these are in my Etsy shop, but I haven't really done like a flip through of them. Sorry. <laughs> But, yeah, that happens sometimes. They're um, what I call handmade papers. They're digitals, of course. But they have the, the look of the handmade papers, like you would get, you know, with the little fibers and leaves and different things in there, right? So, yeah, there's ten pages in here, and I'm using one of them as the backdrop of this elements that's why I'm doing that's what reminded me to do a flip through right so it's got yeah just the fibers should turn that over so I know I've done that one and they're different colors and shades and stuff um, this one has a lot more leaf content you know and little bits of things I hope it's coming through really good it's a very subtle uh, paper pack. I just made them for background purposes because sometimes you need a good background page and you know there you go. So yeah this and I'll probably be using several of these throughout this uh, series of homemade the homemade journal you know. This one has some bigger fibers in it and a few leaf tidbits and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, let's see, this one as well, so, yeah. Um, a lot of times I use these for, like, making, um, birthday cards. I don't know if you guys make birthday cards, but if you're making a card, this is a great background to, to build on, right? Uh, it, it is for me anyways. <laughs> And this is the one I'm using today. Um, it has sort of a ye yellowish, yellowish beigey kind of overall color with some fibers and stuff in it. Okay, so what I do is, let me get these out of the way. Um, they're, this is, I just got it kind of clipped together so that, I don't know where things go when I am going to, you know, put it all together, right? Okay, so this is the background page, and I folded it in half, well, not in half. I scored it at half an inch, and then I folded that back, angled the edges, because I wanted to make a hinged page to go into the... Uh, to the journal to the signature so as I did that I made a pocket down here um, and just a journaling card out of the that was some leftover paper I had from the kit so I just made a journaling card there and I also left I cut this one open just to here and made a journaling card there now if anybody wants me to show them how to do that it's pretty simple you're just folding it over I cut this before I folded it and glued that part down, and I glued that part down, and then I just took uh, just a teensy, weensy little edge off of that. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple to do, but if anybody wants me to show you, like, all the different steps, it's pretty simple. But if you do, just let me know. It's To me, it was just a fun little, I was playing, you know. So I did that. I made a belly band. Uh, this is one of the little circle elements in the kit. And this is that background page again. 
And of course I laced it because, you know, that's how I am. And I'm going to use this big journaling card to go in behind there because I think it just, I mean, the colors really pop together, right? Okay. So this is, let me take this off because I'm going to put that on with a glue gun. <laughs> I, I'm going to put this little bow on here as an extra embellishment. Uh, and I may put some um, like rose trim or something on top of it. But that's really thick, so I'm going to put it on with a glue gun. I won't bore you with that. So this one is going to go down here like so. And it will open up. I'm going to put a Velcro dot, of course. And this is a little expandable pocket. <laughs> it's cute. Now I've done these several times. If you want me to show you how to do this one, just let me know. I can go step by step. But I figured I've shown, you know, I put four pockets in this one instead of like when I was doing the Christmas cabin, that little uh wooden chest, I only it was wider. Um I put three in that one if my memory isn't all wonky so this one I put four in because I thought you know it's just dang cute right okay so I used the background paper to mat um the uh file folder because that's what I use as my base on most things uh this I printed out this digital on lightweight cardstock so everything's pretty sturdy I made this little, uh, I don't know, a little tuck spot, writing spot thingy, <clears throat> little notebook, really. I just sewed it together with embroidery thread, and I'm going to glue the back part down, and this will be back there. And I thought this might be a really great place to put a little note about what, you know, what a favorite project or something like that um, for the homemade journal. So anyways, that's, and then it'll tie to hold it closed. That's my closure. So that's going to go there, and the belly band's going to go on the other side, and then we'll hinge it in. I think, let's see, had I decided, obviously I hadn't put the tape on it, so I think I'm going to have it going this way. Because I don't want it going that way. So, yeah, I'm going to have it on this page. And it's just going to go not all the way down. Because you've got to leave enough room to where you don't crowd your um, gutter. You need your, your um, where you're going to sew your signature in. All your folds and stuff. So you want it out a little bit. You've got room, you know, when you, because uh, you score half. And then you fold it in half from there. So you've got plenty of room to, you know, move it over some. So I'm going to have it there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to put my tape here. Some of these things you just work out as you go, right? <laughs> I do. I think this one will work. I always kind of have to pull out a few and say, see which one's which and don't stick my head in the camera, right? <laughs> Okay, so yep. I uh, hope you guys are having some fun crafty times. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to work on this, that, and the other thing, and everything in between, and stuff like that. And uh, you know, try to get some progress going. I thought this would be a fun element to add into this this one signature. I don't know what I'm going to do in the other signature. I haven't got that much planning ahead done. But this one, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to add all these things on. I did tape the back of this one, so that means I'm halfway prepared, right? So let me put this on, and then we'll move on from there. If I can get my backing off. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh, I haven't opened my glue this morning. 
hopefully it'll work. If not, I'll, I have things to help myself. It's working. Okay. Now, at first I thought about making the back of this a pocket, but when I made the uh, space that it was going to go on into a pocket, I thought, no, I'm not going to make this a pocket. I'm just going to put it completely down, um, and that'll work better, I think. I think for this particular element sometimes you can go a little overboard or I can I don't know what you guys do but I can go a little overboard on making another pocket and another pocket and <laughs> it's fun right you know it's just I don't want these little bitty bits under there okay that's fine now but it is it's fun to make a pocket and a pocket and a pocket and a pocket and a pocket it just is <laughs> it is so yeah all right, now we've got that one on there looking good. Okay, next one, this may be a little bit complicated, but I'm okay with complicated as long as it doesn't get too weird. <laughs> I hope you guys understand that. <laughs> I'm just going to stick a little bit of uh, glue here because I think this will go down just fine with just the glue. Because I just made this sort of a... It's going onto this, so I didn't really want to put a back onto it. I'm trying to keep my bulk down, right? So just the back page is going to go down. And be glued to the, like I said, lightweight cardstock. Okay. And then that will be the closure over here. As long as I don't get it upside down or have anything too weird happening right and don't get my head in the camera okay all right okay all right now that opens up and we have that down and see you've got a writing spot you could I guess do it differently and have a writing spot on the back of this page but I just wanted it to be down like there and so this will be a good place to put I don't know whatever a person would want to put but I think it would be a good place to write out a special project or something like that that was my thought for this little notebook that's not the best bow but it'll do for now <coughs> get down there what in the world is trying to be complicated with me I said no complications. Okay, so now we're going to go over here. <laughs> I saved this one for, you know, that's more lumpy bumpy on the other side, but this one's simpler to put on because it's just a belly band, right? <laughs> to me, it was simpler uh, to do it this way. If you're going to do one of these, do it however, which way, whatever order you want to put it in. It's fine. So I'm just using a little... Um, I think they call that an eighth of an inch <laughs> on the double stick tape. I have lots of different sizes because, you know, I like it. I like it a lot. It helps me. <laughs> Makes my life simpler and easier. And it holds dang good, especially when you match it with the glue. You put these things together and you really don't want them to let go. Right? Right? You want them to be there and to be just a wonderful, I don't know, a keepsake for someone else or uh, a durable something for yourself. Whatever you want. I mean, you want it to last, right? Okay. Um, give it a second to really, you know, catch... And then we'll move on. This is this has been such a fun kit to work with. It's so pretty. I love this page. So that's one of the reasons I picked it to to do my first big element with. It's just pretty, and it's going on to that page. So okay. Oh, let me put this in here. Did I put it upside down? I don't think it can get upside down. Okay. Here we go. I didn't put a tab on this one because, oh, maybe I should leave it off till I get it hinged in there. Okay. 
<clears throat> let me do that. Okay, because I'm going to hinge this in. Don't be ornery. Okay, so I'm going to hinge this in like so-ish. You know what? I'm going to make me a mark so that I know where I want this to... Yeah. As long as I cover that up, I'm good, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, as long as I don't lose where that is, huh? <laughs> it happens. Okay. Here we go. I think this is going to be a really cool element. And I, I know it's a little bit bulky, but I tried to keep it as flat as possible. Right? Just putting a few things here and there. But to make it also very functional, right? Because you want it to be functional. Making sure everything's the right side up. Okay. Don't want to be... Look, quit being on me. Look at that. Okay, right there-ish. Yep. I think so. <clears throat> okay, now let me take this page out of the signature so I can press that down real good. <laughs> it's a thing, right? You need good pressing down. Okay, there. Yep. All right. Now all I need is to put a Velcro dot, which I should have gotten together before. But you know, they're always nearby. <laughs> if not, I would be worried about myself. <laughs> really, I would. Oh, let me do the top one first. Okay, I'm going to put the top one somewhere in the middle-ish there. I just think this is so pretty. So pretty. Okay, then we're closing that down. There you are. It opens up like so. Big old expandable pocket in there. Awesome, awesome. Whew. Signatures together. Now we've got our first our first element in our signature. That is so cool. Is that awesome or what? I like it. Um, it's got a lot of functionality to it. It holds a lot of stuff, and yeah, you've got this pocket that will hold just gobs of stuff. A little writing notebook up here, belly band over there with a big journaling card. What more could a person want? <laughs> okay, oh yeah, you've got these. <laughs> you've got these um, little cards here, the little journaling cards. <laughs> Don't forget those. Okay, so there you are. Our first element in our first signature in the homemade journal. Is that cool or what? And you got lace poking out the top and the bottom. I love it. <laughs> uh, I do. It just is a thing. Well, like I said, this one's coming along. It's, um, it's going to be a lot of fun to work on. We've got a lot of different papers to work with here. Um... Lots of different things we can do and are going to do. Lots of different, just fun, wonderful things to... This is going to be so fun. I just can't... It's it's amazing. Like I said, I worked on this for over three months. Getting this kit together just to, just to make it just awesome. So... I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I know I'm going to because it's been just so much fun already. <laughs> okay, I'll quit waffling on now. <laughs> uh, you guys have fun and, and take care. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. TTFN.